Hi. So I wanted to um, talk today about um, women, sports, media, and how Twitter becomes yet another outlet to understand how people feel about issues and how uh, what you do as an institution or an individual, and in this case, in the realm of sport, will have fascinating, sad consequences uh, and, and that uh, give us an insight as to how uh, society really thinks as a, as a whole. So let's talk about this tweet from Women in Football. This is a Twitter account. Um, and basically it says, whether you agree with the comment or not, single noun and ridicule in an individual on unofficial club account is not what you're here for. Karen Kearney is a well-informed pendant. This tweet is insightful, inappropriate, not good to, uh, not a good look now or at any time. So what are we talking about here? And this is in reference to a, a, a club called Lit United. It's a soccer club, a football club that is uh, in the Premier League at this point in the, in the first division of the league. And, um, and so why are we talking about this? So I'll give you some, some, uh, a little bit of background. Uh, last year, uh, right after the break from uh, the, um, the pandemic, many of the leagues in Europe uh, resumed. And as such, uh, well, soccer matches came back. And among those were the uh, seasons that uh, allowed, the few matches that allowed the uh, leads to play and promote from a lower division to the EFA, to the Premier League, and be able to play with the big teams. Now, Leeds United has a very strong tradition of, uh, of soccer. Is a, uh, in, in the uh, United Kingdom, is a very recognized uh, institution. Um, and, and, and so, and it's, it has been said that it belongs in the, uh, in the Premier League. And, you know, you can, you can belong there, but if you don't play to belong, even if you have a huge shoulders as an institution, you're still in a lower division. And this is not only happening in the UK, it happens in every league where uh, some teams go descend, they go to a lower division and they stay there for a longer time, even if they, as an institution, don't deserve that. Um, so why are we talking about that? Oh, on top of that, if you want to know, the, the coach from the Leeds United is Bielsa. And Bielsa was uh, um, basically put on the top three choices for the best coach of the year last year. And it was because of this accomplishment, because he took this Leeds United from uh, a lower division to a, a higher division. Now, this was very controversial because many coaches across the, the world have done things similar to what Bielsa did and created a controversy as to whether or not Bielsa deserved to be there. And so this is a very important background because it's going to allow us to understand a little bit more about the context as to why um, Leeds took so uh, personal uh, as an institution and that the fans that the institution represent what, um, what Karen uh, Carney said. And so basically, as you can see here, what she said is, according to the tweet that uh, Leeds United put, is that it was promoted because of COVID, that it won the league by 10 points. So the question is whether or not it was promoted. Seriously, we're promoted because of COVID. We won the league by 10 points. And then it's waving to saying, hey, hi, Prime Very Sport. Are you there? Are you listening to what I'm saying? Are you listening to what you are saying? Are you hearing yourself? Um, and so let's go a little bit down here. And this is exactly, this is Slave Weight Palace, who's replying exactly. Disagree with it constructively, if you will. But Carney simply made a polite and evidence-based comment as her job as a pundit requires. And like Karen Carney, leads under honor have shown a distinct lack of class, I guess, once dirty leads always. And hashtag dirty leads. So here we go. Um, and then someone else who might not be really happy with. Uh, so this guy here, which uh, Slate is basically saying that, that it agrees 
with uh, uh, the comments by the, the criticism that women in football is, is putting out there about lead. Um, and then someone else here is that you were quick to comment, I guess uh, this uh, might be referring to uh, Karen Carney and then shows uh, 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 an article about Karen Carney. So now this becomes not about her tweet, not about what she said or her criticism or what she required to do when she comments on soccer as anyone else would do on the media, but now it becomes an issue of whether or not this person uh, uh, is it's, it's, it's good, bad, or, the, uh, or whatever. And, and now we go personal. So we, we went from the idea behind her comment into the personal uh, life and how she was in this case uh, um, banned. And so, and then we were uh, uh, always, and then, and, and then there's a, 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 someone is posting uh, an article on The Guardian opinion. The Guardian is one of the leading uh, uh, newspapers in, in the United Kingdom. Uh, so, uh, LOL, Karen Karen is a terrible pundit, not because she's a woman, plenty of terrible male pundits like uh, Grimmins Sounds, not everything is a war on women. So, I don't know about whether or not Karen Karen is a terrible pundit or not, but uh, I guess he's saying that um, that is what sh we should be focusing on, I suppose, not in the gender issue, but the gender issues do arrive. Uh, welcome to social media, Carney Carney, where your every comment is greeted with applause or bill. There is no middle ground, essentially on Twitter, especially on Twitter, which is also true. Uh, ironic, the very outrage, if you can call it that, is that Karen Carney is not uh, uh, a well-informed pandemic. So this goes on, on, on. Um, now someone, Rachel Jackson is saying, people slagging Karen Carney off for making a very fair point, which I had her male counterparts say spot on. Sexism is real and prevalent not only in football and other sports. Now you can go on and on and on. I'm just wondering why there was not a minute silent for Karen before kick off any idea. So now it is another one. And we go on and on and on and on. So. Uh, uh, just when you thought people were actually starting to like you as a club, a trusted behavior by a social platform, cyber bullying, female pounding and opening her up to mass online abuse for doing her job and having her opinion. So this is Bethany England. Now, um, I'm not going to go over uh, all, all the comments because there, there's no need to do that. Uh, um, if you want to know the comment, then you can follow these 390 comments here uh, about it. But I'm going to go back to something else in here, and that is the tweet here. So we click on this tweet. This is the official page from Leeds United. Okay. Now, we can disagree or not as to whether or not this is in itself. Uh, 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 a gender bias tweet, okay? Uh, that will be, the only way to find that out is to examine Leeds United. I mean, uh, and you have your opinion about it. Um, they're questioning as to whether or not Leeds was actually promoted because of COVID. Now, something that it is interesting, however, is that this guy here, Neil Finn, says, Leads literally fall apart and fall away at the end of most seasons. I actually agree with Karen, uh, uh, Karen Carney. I think the COVID break helped Leeds recharge their batteries, get settled and go again. I don't get why Leeds fans have got their bags about it. So I guess you can think well, to whether or not, to what degree when an institution posts anything, they need to think about the backlash of what they're posting, okay? Because even if at the best case scenario, the Leeds United were outraged at the comments, regardless of, of Karen's gender, um, the fact is that what people are saying here is that what she said wasn't much of a lie, according to Neil Film. Um, from Bitter Villa fans, uh, and so there's other comments in here. 
Hey, L UFC, this tweet is very funny and I too have tweeted, but as many female leads fan, can, can you please call out those making sexist comments? We listen to Don Goodman, Paul Merson and co talk utter nonsense every week and we never say, oh, it's, they have a penis, that's why. So Lisa really brings it to home because in here, you are basically saying, look, the, the tweet itself might have not been, the tweet itself from uh, uh, um, uh, Leech United might have not been gender bias, okay? It was just commenting back on what uh, 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 this pundit said about the uh, Leech United performance and how they got promoted. Nevertheless, so even if you agree that this was not a gender bias to it, what you have to uh, do uh, recognize uh, is that, oh, I think I lost, uh, I lost Lisa here. So what you have to recognize is that this, this club have, okay, the club has female fans in there. And that if you dismiss what the uh, uh, remarks are, then you're also dismissing your own fans. Fans who uh, buy merchandise from your club, fans who uh, go to the matches, fans who contribute to your uh, institution. And so basically what she's saying, and, and, and this is making an excellent point in here, is that we have to stop this. So you can put whatever you wanna put, uh, as an institution in reaction to what uh, uh, a commentary might be saying about your club. But if there are reactions that target the gender of the individual, the race of the individual, and we just stand by and doing nothing, then we're contributing to the cyberbullying. Now, obviously, someone said before, uh, welcome to social media. Okay, there are many things that you might not be able to control in social media, but as an institution, you at the very least need to rethink what you say and how you say it, because it does have, as we see here, an influence on, on what people say. Now, let's go to yet another part of this. So, if you go down here, it says another person is saying genuine questions as I am interested. Where <clears throat> in the tweet did Leeds ridicule the comment? If this was said by Paul Merson and Leeds did the same thing, we would have the same uproar about it. Well, that, that is a very, a very genuine question. Okay, but I guess what we are saying is, is basically that it's not so much about what, what this comment is, it's about what Leeds failed to do when gender bias comments, sexist comments were, were posted. And so someone says here, they have previously made equally or more ridiculous tweets about Gabi, uh, Agbalnor and others over the course of this season are only men allowed to be poked fun at. Now, very much a gender bias comment also, very much defending masculinity and not thinking that uh, um, no, we, we usually, uh, we can ridiculize a man, absolutely, but no one plays with the side of his penis to say it, um, as go echoing what was said before. And, and so <clears throat> here, replying to women for over and, and, and tongue tweets, genuine questions. And then Mary Louise says, oh, she is wrong. Basically she's siding, I suppose, with the fact that she doesn't agree with uh, the Kobe break, but single her out like this is needless as, as it just brings a lot of sexist abuse her way that wouldn't happen if she were a male pundit. Like if they did the same to a man, the abuse would be different. We're just not there for shaming female commentators. And I think the whole point is precisely this, is that, is that the guy who was saying, mm, ridiculous, blah, 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 men are the only one crying, crying, crying. He's not really thinking that the comments would have been different. That 
we would have not been talking about her, his manhood and whether or not he is able to perform sexually or whether or not he is able to lift 100 pounds because he's a guy or his uh, um, body at all. We would have been going at it as to whether or not this person is good or bad in terms of his performance, which is not what Twitter is revealing in here. If people criticize Agbon Loro or mentioning his race, Leeds United would have made a comment and called it out. Okay, so what you're saying once again is that even in terms of race and men, this would have been an issue. But if because it's a woman, they feel, the Leeds United feel that they don't have to do a damn thing about it. Uh, so, um, so that says here is getting she, so that Karen is getting a lot of abuse based around her gender. I don't care about Leeds tweet, but they need to call out the sexism. So again, uh, um, we need to think about not only as an institution, okay, and which, by the way, if the institution doesn't do anything, uh, what we are seeing is that the institution is letting this lie, and they are institutionalizing this gender bias, these uh, uh, patriarchal uh, uh, values, okay, these androgenic kind of uh, uh, views in which men is about everything, just like this guy here is talking about, okay, his comment, James Wellman's comment is really about men at the center, thinking through men's view in a sort of like a vision tunnel. So, um, these are the issues, not only in terms of gender, but also the issues that we have to think about when we look at sports as a realm of our society, but in general, as to how we look at social media, how we use social media, how institutions use social media, how they have to think in a, ahead as to what are the repercussions that might take place because of what they say, how they handle those repercussions, because otherwise you contribute by basically doing, or just as important, not doing anything about what people say in, in social media. Now I get it, you can't control what people are gonna say, but you are in a position to make a stand as to what you think you believe in and that if you believe that these behaviors are inappropriate, that are misleading, that are just sexiest, uh, then you have to say it. Because if you don't say it, then it seems that you agree with it. You agree with all this nonsense. All right, so um, I hope that this was a good example of what of how women overall lead, uh, uh, engage and, and face uh, 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 these experiences, which are everyday life experiences for women in this case. And so we have to think about that because as a guy uh, who are commenting on sport, you probably wouldn't have to think about all these different issues. You will be thinking about different ways in which you are criticized, but not about you being a man which also leads to many of the issues about knowledge, about how uh, uh, male continue to think that they own the knowledge of soccer, that women don't have that, that women don't have the passion to understand the sport, that women don't have the ability to conceive the sport in the same way that uh, a men do. Uh, um, and uh, because of all these things, that what you say as a woman about sports, about soccer, about anything is not, as important is not as well thought as someone else who might be saying the exact same thing, but we are justifying it because he is a guy. Thank you very much, and I hope your comments. All right, bye.